Hi guys, this is Giridhar here and today I'm going to talk to you about a new device called the Obi World Phone SF1. So Obi is relatively a new company to India and it is a company which is founded by an ex-Apple CEO, John Scully. This particular phone, the Obi World Phone, has been designed by an ammunition uh, studios which is a uh, um, I mean respectable design studio located in uh, California. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what the device is all about. So to start with the box looks uh, really good. Uh, it reminds me of the old iPod or uh, the iPod uh, touch generation which has a similar kind of packaging. This package is a shelf ready package and this is how it's going to be available in the market. This particular device, the uh, World Phone SF1, runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor. Uh, so this packaging includes the handset with a battery um, sealed in it, a uh, USB cable and a power adapter and it is compatible with 4G LTE and uh, both the Indian bands. It is a 5 inch display uh, device. The processor, as I mentioned earlier, is a Snapdragon 615, uh, which is clocked at 1.5 GHz and it has an Adreno 405 for the GPU. Uh, the camera is a 13 megapixel um, Sony sensor and uh, the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera. While this device, the particular one in my hand is a 2 GB variant which means that it's got an internal memory of 16 GB. Uh, well there is another variant coming in also uh, which is the 32 GB internal memory and it has a 3 GB of RAM. So it's got a 3000 mAh uh, lithium polymer battery. It's a dual SIM device, uh, both micro and nano, while the nano SIM card can be swapped uh, to a, a micro SD card. That's a hybrid uh, memory card expansion slot there. So this device has also got Dolby Surround 5.1. Let's go ahead and open up the device. I don't have the charger that is coming along with this and the data cable probably because of some customs issue so I don't have it with me right now but you will be getting a charger and a USB uh, port when you have this device retailing in the, in the stores. And this is the phone, the um, SF1, SF stands for San Francisco so this uh, mobile is designed in San Francisco, hence the name SF1. Well, apart from the mobile, the charger and the USB cable, there is a tiny weeny bit of uh, user manual available here. It's actually not a manual, it's a quick start guide. So there is no headphones included. So let me put this nice looking box aside and inspect the device. So uh, this device is a very uh, light device, it's thin, flat and flush designs, completely flat. It's, uh, I've got the black versions, there are multiple colors coming in but I've got the black with me. This device weighs around 147 grams and uh, it is very thin at 8 mm. At the bottom you have the uh, USB port along with uh, dual speaker grills but only one speaker and the other one just has a mic and uh, I am told that it is designed in such a way that uh, the sound comes through both the grills and not just one grill. On the uh, right hand side you have the SIM tray, uh, well on the left hand side you have the power button and the, the volume rocker. These power button and volume rocker are made of the same material and it's got the same finishing as the body. But it's got a good tactile feedback as I can see here and on the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack and also the noise cancelling mic and you have a 5 megapixel camera on the front at the back you have the 13 megapixel camera along with a, a single led f yeah that's a single led flash so let me power up the mobile so the display is kind of uh, very unique here design wise it's it is slightly elevated from the more actual chassis of the mobile so the device has powered up and i'm gonna start it up So there you have the OB uh, World Phone SF1. One thing which I did notice was that it doesn't have any uh, off-screen navigation keys. Those navigation keys are on the screen. But uh, I'm not sure why they have such a big dimple at the bottom. Also uh, the, the bezels are kind of uh, thick. Uh, the display is just 5 inch but this one actually looks like a 5.5 inch device. Display looks good. I mean the display is uh, what they call 
the in cell display which means that uh, the actual display is very close to the glass and it is manufactured by JDI so it is running on Android uh, 5.0.2 when the user interface is called the OB live speed it doesn't have NFC or it doesn't have wireless charging but it does have a quick charging 1.0 technology for its uh, 3000 mAh uh, powered uh, lithium polymer battery so this is the lock screen the lock screen is kind of very uh, signature to this device so on swiping on top uh, it unlocks it and it's also got uh, shortcuts to uh, dialer and uh, the uh, camera from the lock screen uh, well apart from that uh, we don't see much of a difference it's kind of very close to what we see in the native android user experience and even the notification toggles and all this uh, notification tray everything is what very similar to the native uh, pure android launcher experience camera is a 13 megapixel camera so it's got a flash single led flash to it so let me go ahead and click a few pictures and uh, so that's how it looks like so the camera ui has got a few little tricks up its sleeves so like the regular uh, filters the mono sepia negative and the other other filters there is auto mode and there is an IQ camera. I'm not sure what that is. There's a portrait mode, landscape mode, sports mode, flower mode. There are many modes. And then uh, there is a button to switch between your panorama, video, or the regular camera. And also you can switch to the front facing camera. So the camera UI is uh, kind of very minimalistic, simple, but uh, I need some time to really test it out and also uh, kind of uh, review this device. Well, uh, the design-wise, this device looks kind of different, uh, but on closer inspection, this device has a similarity to a lot of other devices which we have seen in the past. For, for, for instance, uh, the bottom looks like the Nokia uh, Lumia 925, and from the top, it might look like the Xiaomi Mi3, and overall, even the chassis looks very close to what Xiaomi Mi3 has got. But the differentiating factor is this uh, display. So elevated display uh, makes all the difference for this device. And uh, this device claims that it's got a wonderful battery life and a great camera and also a fantastic display. So I meant to test it out. I will be doing using this device for the next couple of weeks. And I'll be posting my detailed review. So uh, this is uh, Gary there and uh, you just watched the unboxing of the OB World Phone uh, SF1. This device is going to be retailing for a price of Rs 11,999 for the 16 GB version and uh, 14,999 for the uh, 32 GB version. So thanks for watching the video. This is Gary there signing off.